Before seeing an interview with the director of Rogue One, Gareth Edwards. A preview of our Star Wars Celebration Europe live stream. And much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hello, I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show on the internet crazy enough to broadcast live from Star Wars Celebration Europe this week. Let's talk about some news, which this week is all about our stream at Celebration. On Friday, beginning at 11 a.m. British Summertime, which is 6 a.m. on the East Coast, 3 a.m. Pacific, we will kick off our live stream from the StarWars.com Star Wars Show live stage from the middle of the show floor at the Excel Center in London. Much like our stream last year in Anaheim, this year's programming will bring the fans even closer to the event with an exclusive all-access coverage of the sights, sounds, and spectacle of the event, as if you're right there with us live. We're talking interviews with actors who are in Star Wars, people who work on Star Wars, the people who make things about Star Wars, and the people who love Star Wars. We're also going to be streaming panels. Lots of panels. Like on Friday, we'll be kicking things off with Mark Hamill's hour-long one-man show. Then at 4 p.m. British Summertime, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, we will be bringing you the special Rogue One, a Star Wars story panel presented by Verizon, in which director Gareth Edwards will join Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy for a discussion of the highly anticipated film. The next day, we'll be streaming panels from Anthony Daniels, ILM X Lab, and a special roundtable discussion with the minds behind EA's Star Wars games, where the creators will share behind-the-scenes stories and reveal news about the future of Star Wars games at EA. Then on Sunday, we're going to be presenting the Fan Film Awards live on our stage, followed by a one-hour, most likely uncensored, one-woman show with Carrie Fisher, my spirit animal, and have some fun with Ray Park, and get a glimpse at the inner workings of the entirety of Lucasfilm, direct from the source during the Lucasfilm Art of Storytelling panel. But that's just the panels. We'll also be welcoming lots of celebrities and guests to our stage as well. We're talking costume groups, official licensees showing off exclusive merchandise, goofing off on the show floor, talking comic books, hanging out with some droids, maybe a drone racer too, and Peter getting a tattoo. Yeah, what, what, what was that last oh, one? Oh yeah, it's a tradition. I did it last year. It's huh. your turn. Back to the B-roll and music. There is just so much going on this year at Celebration during our live stream that if you watched it all back to back to back, it would take almost 24 hours. It is really an exciting time to be a Star Wars fan. So that's what we got coming up for Celebration. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I can't wait I'm to- I'm pretty excited oh. about Celebration. Oh, oh it's I'm that excited. guy from next door. I'd be more excited yeah. if you were talking about <laughs> Star Wars we Rebels, were, which we you were, neglected to talk about. We were about, just getting to that. You weren't? Yeah. Because I was on the other side of the wall there, totally. listening as I have to so often now, he, listening he busted us. to yeah. all yeah. the Star Wars news, all the galactic news, which is so exciting. Granted, so, it's pretty exciting when you have the guests, but you don't invite me over. Well, why don't you, you tell us about and things and the nothing, Rebels panel, Dave? Not even an email. The Rebels panel is very exciting. Just to change topics quickly, we've got Warwick Davis. We'll be hosting Hi. the show, which is great. We've got Tia Sirkar. Sabine Wren will be there to talk about a lot of changes for Sabine. And then we've got Sam Witwer coming. And, you know, Sam will talk about Star Wars a long time, okay. which will give me a break on stage. So he'll talk for about a half hour about all kinds of things. Maybe Darth Maul. He played mm -hmm. Darth Maul, so that's kind of important. And we've got some big surprises in store. Ooh, can we get like a little something exclusive? Like a little Well, taste? since you're my neighbors, <laughs> since we share a common wall, I will show you a clip from season three yes. of Star Wars Rebels here, right now on the Star Wars show. Awesome, thank you, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> Ah, I knew you would not let your old partner Hondo rot away in this prison. Hondo, it's good to see you. Not really. You better have the intel you promised. Yes, we do. I'm sorry, we? Yes, me and my business associate, Terba. You wouldn't believe the secrets he knows. You're right, I wouldn't. You're on it, son. You're on a job. What fun! Now we're rescuing two people. Hey, twice the fun. Look out! Over here! Spectre 6 to ghost, change of plans. We need a 44 scoop at the landing platform. On my way, Spectre 6. Make yourself useful. Oh, Mandalorian. I can get a lot for this on the black market. You will be giving it back. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping it. No, you're not. Come on, this way. Really, Ezra? 
most of the time. No, you cannot have a double chair. You greedy little pig. What do you mean the deal's off? No, Turbo, wait. This is not good business. <laughs> Well, I guess the deal is off. Before Rogue One had a title, before we even knew the movie was about the Rebels stealing the plans for the original Death Star, Gareth Edwards was just a mega Star Wars fan about to make his very own Star Wars film. And now on the precipice of Gareth Edwards taking the Star Wars Celebration Europe stage by storm during his panel, we present to you an exclusive interview. Two years ago, StarWars.com sat down with the Rogue One director to talk about what it was like growing up loving Star Wars, only to find out one day he would be living the dream and actually making Star Wars. Enjoy. Had it on Betamax, and one day my parents came home and they basically had this tape, and I put it in the machine and started playing it. But my, we had to go and have tea, and so I watched like ten minutes of it, had tea as fast as I could, thinking for the rest of my life I'm just going to sit and watch that tape over and over and over and over. Like I knew the rest of my life from that point on was just going to be sat with that tape. I did actually watch it a million times, and I could quote the film. My family was from Wales, and so we do these car rides to Wales, which would last about ninety minutes, and. I, I did the whole script. Holding her is dangerous. If word this gets out, it could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. I have traced all the spies to her. Now she's my only link to find their secret base. <laughs> for my 30th birthday, my girlfriend said, what are you going to do? You have a party, you know? And I was like, no. And so then it was, okay, well, where do you, is there any somewhere you want to go away? And the only place I hadn't gone to that I've always been curious about was um, Tunisia. And we basically did this uh, road trip where we went to all these different locations like the, the canyon where R2-D2 falls over. And I spent the night in the Troglodyte Hotel, which is Luke Skywalker's home. And I actually took some blue dye with me so that in the morning I could have blue milk. And I spilt the milk. So there's a stain on the floor now that's blue in that room that I, I like to think I left my mark. And then drove across the desert to the other location, which is the igloo where the sun is setting. I shouldn't admit this, but I guess there's nothing anyone can do about it now. I took a few little bits from the sets. Call security. <laughs> when I told my mum, I did the FaceTime thing on my phone, and I was like, okay, mum, so uh, I've got another job, I'm going to tell, tell you what it is, and it's not what you think. It's Star Wars. And as she reacted, I went, <laughs> and got, I've got this little picture on my phone of my mum reacting. I was expecting it to feel like a scary big burden, but it actually feels like, it, as strange as it sounds, it feels like returning home. I know this, this is what I grew up with. We all know what this has to be. And say one nice thing about the Emperor. Say one nice thing? About the Emperor. He hires a lot of British people, which is very, which is a very um, clever thing to do. Like if I was building an empire and I wanted to win, I would hire a lot of British people. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this special episode of The Star Wars Show. We absolutely cannot wait to hang out with you in London this week for what could quite possibly be the best Star Wars celebration of all time. And we want you to be a part of it. The executives at Lucasfilm want to answer questions from you about what it's like to work at Lucasfilm and on Star Wars during the Lucasfilm Art of Storytelling panel. Leave a question here or on Twitter using the hashtag LucasfilmLife and we'll pass them along to the panelists. Then be sure to check into our stream live on Sunday where maybe, just maybe, one of the department heads of the company will answer your question during the panel. Finally, to ensure that you won't miss a second of celebration this week, be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+, or constantly refresh StarWars.com or download the Star Wars app. And remember, even if you can't watch every second of our celebration live stream as it happens, we will be posting clips and panels after they happen, as well as the entire day's live stream for you to enjoy at your leisure. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a plane to catch. Oh, hey, is anyone bringing cheese? No, he doesn't fit in a pet carrier. We sit down with pro skater Lizzie Armanto. Andy learns how to fight like a Jedi. And much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hello, I'm...